Hey folks, welcome back to My Kitten Reads. I'm Eleanor and this is my August Owl Crate unboxing. I'm not sure what's in here, but I'm not sure if it's something's escaped because it's making sounds. But anyway, August Owl Crate unboxing. I can't actually remember what the theme is, so let's just open it. And there we go. Ooh, I can smell something. Okay, so we have the artwork. Ooh, and it is Storms and Seas is the theme for this month. So Storms and Seas, that's very pretty period kind of, um, it looks sort of more Edwardian, I think, than Victorian, by the judging by the dress. But yeah, she doesn't look very happy, but it's very pretty artwork as usual. So let me see. Oh yeah, something, oh yeah, no, something's opened. Oh dear. The Little Mermaid by the Soap Librarian Bath Salts opened, has come unscrewed. So they are all through the box. That is what I can smell. Um, that's disappointing. I don't know if I'm going to be able to rescue those. Wow, how did they come? Yeah, so I don't really know what happened, but um, yeah, those uh, chamomile and lemongrass orange peel and lavender rose hibiscus bath salts. That's disappointing. That's never happened before. And this is open too. Hmm. Ooh. What is this? It is. It was a dark and stormy night. Tea light candle lantern. I see. So you put the tea lights in here and then you screw there and you have a little lantern. That is very cute. That is very cute. I like that. So, I'm not sure why the box is open, but there we go. And there's the lid of the bath salts. So, what else do we have? We have the pin for the month. So, it's got like a, a, um, a lighthouse on it. So, I'm assuming whatever the book is has a lighthouse, and they look like tentacles and tridents. So, that's interesting. I'm assuming maybe something mermaid related. Ooh, okay, what else? We have, this looks like a little pencil case. It says, I am so alive. That's very pretty. It's, it's a little tin. So I am so alive. What do we have? So we had the bath salts and the little mermaid, tea light candle, team Alcrate exclusive. Um, tin pencil case inspired by the Scorpio races, designed by Stella Bookish Art. So with, I'm pretty sure we've had lots of things from Stella Bookish Art before. I don't recognise the book, but still pretty tin pencil case. I kind of like it. And then we have... Ah. We have an engraved wooden bookmark that says, The sea watches over me. She protects her own. Alcrate exclusive by Juniper and Ivy Designs. Who we've also had bookmarks and stuff from before. Um, so that is inspired by Daughter of the Pirate King, which I have actually read, which is a previous Alcrate book. So, awesome. It's very pretty. I like it. Um, and I think... I had to dig a little, but we have Sea Witch Tea from tea, uh, Riddle's Tea Shop. We've had teas from them before. So it's um, decaf Earl Grey and hazelnut spice. So that is uh, Sea Witch inspired. So again, that's a book I'm not really familiar with, but um, yeah, so that's tea which I probably won't drink, but I'm sure my colleague at work will really like it, who I usually dump all this off. And then we have the book, which is House of Salt and Sorrows by Erin A. Craig. There is the Alcrate exclusive cover. The House of Salt and Sorrow. Um, it's a 12 Dancing Princesses retelling. You know me, I love a fairy tale retelling. 
So basically, there was there's a girl, the main character lives in a big house, and they used to be so happy on the at home or the manor by the sea, but um, with her sisters, her father and her stepmother. But four of her sisters have died in tragic circumstances, and Amelie is suspicious. She's not sure if they were accidents. But she and her sisters, her sisters, her sisters keep sneaking out to go and dance at balls. But you know, and of course, Annalie meets someone, but there's a mystery. Twelve Dancing Princesses. So that is a gorgeous cover, and it's a very terrible telling. So I'm quite actually looking forward to it. <coughs> the book, of course, comes with a letter from the author, which has a quote, a piece of art <coughs> that says, "Once there were twelve of us." Oh dear. So yes, there's that letter, and there is a bookmark that says, "Be careful who you dance with." And then in the back, in a manner by the sea, one by one, twelve sisters are cursed. Who will be next? So it sounds like a bit of a mystery. <clears throat> um, but again, that is also very, very gorgeous, and I always love a bookmark. So the only things remaining in the box are the uh, Our Crate newsletter, which uh, has the artwork, it has interviews, it has um, puzzles and recommendations and all that kind of stuff. So there's that. <clears throat> And the spoiler card for next week month, so for September, the box is themed Fear the Night. Ooh, looks very, very, very spooky. And every September box will include a paperback book from the Penguin Horror Collection. That's interesting. So two books, um, I believe. So yay, um, horror is not really my thing, but hopefully I will get something that I will actually like. Like maybe a copy of Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, that'd be fun, because I've read that and I like that, or maybe Dracula. If it's classic, maybe, maybe I might like it. So yes, that is next month. <laughs> and that is the Our Crate for this month. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm still a bit disappointed that the bath salts got everywhere, so I'm gonna have to dust everything off. Um, not that I probably could have used them because I don't have a bath, so that's that's okay. But um, but yeah, I like the lantern, I like the pencil case, I like the bookmarks. So yeah, that was our crate, and I will see you all again really soon. Bye.